Camera's losing its mind. What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of the PlayStation Road to Glory, Poor Man Road to Glory number two, if you will. As always, thank you for the support on the previous episodes of this series. Uh, I'm going to be missing a few days uploading here and there. Uh, I missed Monday, obviously. I'm assuming you're getting this on a Tuesday in terms of YouTube. Uh, just so you know, if you do want to see content, uh, if you're a YouTube viewer and you miss uh an upload or you're not happy that i'm not uploading a playstation road to glory know that on my streams i stream every day and i tend to be on my playstation road to glory account for three to four to five hours a day so you know shameless plug but it's literally twitch.tv slash nick 28t if you want to see live recordings i do all of this stuff live on stream as well i understand that a lot of you guys don't have time to catch my streams or anything like that which is why maybe you do watch the PlayStation Road to Glory condensed on YouTube. I'm just saying, if you're irritated that I'm not doing uploads to YouTube, I still stream every single day, eight to 10 hours a day or eight to 12 hours a day on Twitch. Um, now, having said that, for this episode, we put together a new team. Hopefully by now you're looking at this squad, trying to piece together who goes where, what players where. If you haven't, if you've missed a couple of episodes of the PlayStation RTG, then you absolutely have no idea what this squad is looking like. I'm actually very excited with this squad. I can't believe that eight episodes in to our PlayStation Road to Glory, we have this team. There's no part of this team that isn't amazing to me. I've used pretty much everyone in this team, either a lot or at least a very little bit. So I'm very, very happy with it. Defensively, left center back, I'm still trying to find the perfect player, but we'll, we'll sort that out in time. Maybe over time, we'll get an icon Rio or something in there. But anyways, you can piece that together for the time being. Uh, in terms of the episode today, we've got the new squad. I know a few people took the piss last episode and the episode before because I've been promising gameplay and we've not played games because of how much grinding there's going on um, on PlayStation for me to build up this account. So we will at least play one, maybe two games today just to test out the team daily knockout tournament. Maybe we're going to try and get qualified for weekend league this week. Um, but I am going to say... I don't know how much longer this Road to Glory is going to last. And the reason why I'm going to say that is as I've been preparing you guys through previous uh, episodes, I think the game is going to die. If you're watching this on Tuesday, I think the game dies tomorrow. And I could be wrong, and I hope EA proves me wrong, but uh, all of the big cards, all of the special cards, all of the best possible players, all of that comes out of packs on August 15th. And I don't see any signs of EA keeping up with the cool content that they've given us the last two to three weeks. I genuinely think they're just going to let the game die. The new weekly objectives we got four days ago or whatever goes to show that I don't think they care anymore. There's nothing really cool in there. Nothing to look forward to. Nothing to grind towards really in the weekly objectives. There haven't been any new interesting SBCs in quite a while. Both like end of era players or anything at all like that. So I just feel like they're going to let the game die. And if they do let the game die, it's not that I can't upload the road to glory, but I'm going to be forcing content. So... We could upload like a, a squad builder and a little bit of gameplay here and there and us working towards better things but without weekly objectives to work towards without like you know um sbcs that i really want to like grind towards i don't know what else there's going to be to do in the road to glory now again i could be wrong there could be a lot to do i could be just motivated to play more games and and maybe you guys enjoy the draft so we could just cycle the playstation road to glory into a draft road to glory i'm not against doing that we've got a hell of a lot of coins to work with even with how awesome this team is so we could do that um there, there's a lot of different things we could do but i'm thinking i'm thinking we peter off i don't know why i'm using the, that word so much but we'll peter off the road to glory you guys let me know in the comment section if you still want to see this road to glory and maybe i'll force out two to three episodes a week just to keep you guys heavy until either the pez my club series starts when pez 19 comes out or until fifa 19 starts but what i'm thinking is if ea does let fifa die maybe this is where we start the leading leads career mode right we did a leading leads literally titled leading leads in fifa 14 and in fifa 15 i've been kind of teasing you guys for a little while about the the leads united career mode simulation only though i'm not playing games so it'll be up to the game deciding whether or not we get wins in my tactics and whatnot but maybe if ea doesn't push anything out for the 15th of august if, if that's the death of fifa 18 ultimate team maybe from there we start the leads united career mode where i upload an hour-long episode maybe a two hour long episode every uh every day or every other day on the youtube channel 
until PES 19 comes out. So that's going to be the plan. Either way, I'm still excited for this episode specifically because awesome players are still in packs. We've got squad battle rewards to complete. Let me actually show you guys the team finally now. Get this episode underway. If you've made it through this, what, five minute long intro, smash the like button. I, I really do appreciate it. I'm not going to set like targets. The fact that my videos are getting almost 2,000 likes. The Road to Glory videos are getting almost 2,000 likes an episode right now. In the middle of bloody August for a 10 month old game in FIFA 18, I can't ask for more. So all I'm gonna ask for is if you are still enjoying the series, smash the like button. It does help out my channel a little bit. Not making any money on YouTube, but would still be cool to get some likes here and there. So there is the team specifically for you guys. If you've been watching the series on Twitch or on YouTube, you know the big part of the teams. The big changes that happened, obviously Deli Ali getting into the team, unbelievably we packed him last episode, and these are the two changes. The man himself, the I love this game himself, I had to try him out, we've used him for two games now, he's not bad. Um, I had to put an anchor on him because I wanted to boost up his sprint speed a little bit, and then I wanted to boost up his strength if possible. With an anchor, he's not a bad card at all. With FIFA 19 and anchors actually showing boosts in stats, it's pretty exciting. You know, although I know what chemistry styles boost what now after, you know, playing this game forever, we know an anchor gives me plus five uh, sprint speed. We know an anchor gives me plus 10 acceleration. We know an anchor gives me plus 10 standing tackle. We know an anchor gives me plus 10 strength. Very cool though that for FIFA 19, those stats actually show in game. The boost in the stats show in game. Something I've been begging for for a long time amazing to see that ea have actually given it to us i love that um so an anchor does make him pretty good uh he's got amazing dribbling and agility he's nice and short he's got fantastic work rates for a wing back so so far two games in i'm really enjoying him now i purely picked up sako just because he fits chemistry wise in the team and right now the only thing i'm gonna have after everybody plays 10 games is david Luiz on 8 chem and david via on 8 chem everybody else on 10 cam i i'm just so happy with this setup like I, i'm very happy so we're we've tested out sako again only two games i bought him fresh for thirteen thousand five hundred coins had an engine that i bought for 300 coins put it on him and i still think that this isn't a great card and the reason why it isn't a great card is obviously everybody else that has amazing cards in fifa 18 right now he doesn't really stack up and an engine makes him a little bit better of course, it gives him, what is that, 87 sprint speed. It gives him 75 acceleration. That's usable. Um, you know, the, the, the engine gives him 68 balance, 72 agility, you know, decent dribbling, uh, kind of okay dribbling, okay ball control. But overall, even as an 88 rated card, he's not a great card compared to the meta players that are in the game. 86 standing tackle is okay. 84 interceptions is okay. 95 strength is pretty damn good. But outside of that, like 80 marking is pretty shambolic. Um, even though he's got 68 balance and 72 agility, that's pretty shambolic. What's even more worrisome is his 79 reactions. For a center back, you want those reactions in the 90s if you can. Um, jumping is okay. Heading accuracy is pretty horrifying. Um, still 75 acceleration in terms of the meta, not fantastic. So I've been using him. I haven't come up against insane FIFA players yet. So, so far, I haven't been torn apart thanks to Sacco. He's been doing well. The combo of Evra, Manolas, and Florenzi is great. And we've used this guy who is genuinely discard. A fresh 88 rated Allison. A lot of you guys said uh, have said his is bad, but I've enjoyed him so far in two games. Six foot threes, acrobatic. I put in a, a, a glove chem style on him which I believe gives them, you know, like 91 or 92 positioning, 91 or 92 handling, and like 88, maybe 89 diving. 91 reflexes is fantastic. 50 speed is more than enough. So I've liked him. Uh, I've seen mixed reviews from you guys about this card, but so far I've liked him. He's, he's been fun. And of course he gets Manolas on full chemistry. Now, I do not use this team the way it looks. I switched to 4 one 2 2 in game. And what's amazing is, is I don't need to change player positions. I switched to 4 one 2 and 2 with the center mids in game, and it puts everybody where I want them. Pedro is my cam, David Villa and Son are my strikers. Um, uh, 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 Deli Ali is my right center mid. Jokure, who is fantastic by the way, is my left center mid, and David Luiz is my lone CDM. And again, what I wanted to compliment this squad on is how amazed I am at how incredible 
and dynamic of a team we have, again, eight episodes in to this Road to Glory. The midfield, defensively, offensively, passing range-wise of David Luiz, Team of the Season Deli Ali, and Team of the Season Ducore, physicality is amazing. Then you look at my strike force of 92 Pedro, 93 David Villa, and 92 Son. All have five-star weak foots, all have four-star skills, all have incredible passing, shooting, dribbling, finishing, and everything. So I'm loving this team. I, I think, which is kind of why maybe I want to qualify for Weekend League, is I think this team could do pretty good in the Weekend League. I don't know if I could do good in the Weekend League, because again, I haven't really played FIFA seriously since January. And at the best of times, I'm maybe an Elite 3 player. You know, not much better than that. So I don't know if personally I could get this team to do well, but I think a good FIFA player could absolutely ball out with this setup. So that's a team we're currently running with. Um, you guys, if you've missed my pack openings from the the this series, go check it out for sure. Um, you know, I, I've had some incredible pack luck. Let me go check out all the items that have sold. We're back up to 30,000 coins grinding the bronze pack. Again, last episode, we picked up Roussillon, made a little bit of profit on him. Um, Man City players required for the SBC, so sold off that guy, of course. Musa was a pack pull, so made a little bit of money on him. And then again, I'm just showing you guys the most expensive from bronze packs or from me selling uh, items away from my club. There's countless amounts of players that I that I clear out from my trade pile um, that are, you know, 200 coins or, or whatever. So first things first, let me just list up the remainder of these cards because we've actually pretty much cleared out the entirety of the trade pile, which I'm happy about. Drop him down to 250 coins as well. My Twitch chat is spamming my gold three emote. Um, yeah, gold three. Good old, good old gold three. That was our bread and butter during me not giving a crap about foot champs for pretty much all of FIFA 18. Play to gold three and be done with the horrible weekend league. I, 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 dudes, I really, really hope EA are giving us something different for foot champs. I refuse to believe all the rumors that FUT Champs is the same thing for FIFA 19. Three years in a row of idiotic... I'm just going to switch up the scene and turn on the um, uh, the, the alerts and stuff like that. Uh, Denna, thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, I, I, I refuse to believe that EA are going to force another 40 games a weekend on us. That would just blow my mind. I don't see that happening. Um, also, I refuse to believe all the rumors that people are saying <laughs> pro clubs uh, and career mode is the same. I don't think EA would spit in the face of all of their consumers that sit there and spend 60 pounds to 100 pounds a year and get the same pro clubs and career mode that they've been getting for five years. There's, I just don't, as harsh as EA are with their community and as disrespectful at times, I think that EA can be towards their community. Not all the time, not all of their employees, but overall, I genuinely think EA just sees us as numbers that spend stupid money on FUT champs or on FIFA Ultimate Team, and then that's it. I, I just, I refuse to believe that for FIFA 19, we get the same crap for pro clubs and, and career mode that we've been getting for the last four or five years. With how, with how social gaming has taken over gaming as a whole, there's no way, there's no way that EA will not at least give us a revamped, properly working pro clubs. There's no way. It just, like, and, and people say this all the time. Oh, no, man, no. People just want to play single player games. Okay. If you do not believe that this screen right here is a microcosm of gaming viewership as a whole, you've lost your damn mind. And what does the most watched games give you overall pretty much uh, maybe not hearthstone i think that's like basically a single player game but pretty much all of the biggest games right now are social games games that you play with other people now yes in most of these games you can kind of play by yourself but the overarching theme of gaming nowadays is still playing with your friends for god's sakes gta is still up there like i'm streaming right now well how many viewers do we have right now I'm streaming. I have 2,500 viewers right now. And where is FIFA in this whole list? This is prime time. It's 7 p.m. UK right now. 8 p.m. Europe. This is when everybody wants football. And look, I almost make up half of the viewership for FIFA 18 right now, dude. That is insanity. This game, if they did things right with how big football is, 
This game should be here, dude, at all times of the year. Football is something that everybody wants and loves all times of the year. I guarantee you, if they took career mode, but more specifically, pro clubs, and the social aspect of playing with four or 11 of your mates, and they gave you a revamped system, maybe even taking your pro player into FIFA Ultimate Team like they did back in 2009, if they properly put together a social part of the game, I swear FIFA could be in the top five or top 10 most viewed games and most interacted with games all year long. And don't let anybody write off saying, oh, but this doesn't really matter. So many people play FIFA, dude. This matters a huge, huge, huge amount um, to me. And I think to a lot of people, these viewership numbers don't lie. Now, this all filters into the game, game sales, all of that stuff. And I just think it's, 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 it's shocking and insane to me. Absolutely shocking and insane to me that EA would, would dare not put out an update to their pro clubs at least. I I, I just I refuse I, I refuse to I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe it. We've been begging for years to fix pro clubs. Do you guys remember how fun the Club to Kings was for me to participate in back in FIFA 14 and 15? When we had myself, Air Jape, Spencer, who was back then, you know, the FIFA player, all of us in a proper series that was edited and everything so well, but all of us playing together. Do you understand how enjoyable that was? But how many people watch that and consume that? Look at where we are today. And career mode, and let's say, let's say, let's stick with, with pro clubs. Pro clubs has gotten worse since then. In fact, unbelievably, shockingly, it just blows my mind, man, the potential. The potential of pro clubs and social gaming and ea sports fifa that could be such a big thing and they're just ignoring it to keep dumping money into the journey three years later no one gives a crap about the journey past day one or day two of the launch of fifa and yet ea are still dumping millions of dollars into a shithole game mode that no one plays and if you say oh but i like the game great for you Great for you, man. You know, some guys like getting whipped in the ass. Most of us don't, but those two things are comparable. I don't want to get whipped in the ass. I know most of the people I know don't want to get whipped in the ass. There's always going to be someone that enjoys that. Just like there's always going to be someone that likes the journey. But overall, the community doesn't give a crap about the journey past week one. Yet, what are they dumping money into? The journey. And I have a feeling it's probably like a money deal with football teams and stuff like that. And Alex Hunter and Coca-Cola or whoever else. It's just a big money deal that EA's probably agreed to to push that out. And it's really good advertisement for all the football teams that are partnered with EA anyways. Whereas pro clubs, it's all about the actual people that dump money into FIFA. But it's not about all the brands that give EA money, right? All the morons such as me and you, we're all going to be playing the game no matter what every year. But all these brands that spend money with EA... Mm, they EA want to make sure that those people are still spending money. So I kind of feel like maybe that's also why pro clubs isn't really looked at. It's more so that like, it's just the FIFA community. So who really cares? You know, whereas the journey, there's a lot tied into that. Um, I do think that this is the end of the journey. Thank God. So ironically, maybe for FIFA 20, if, if unbelievably we do not get an, a massive update and revamp of pro clubs, which again, I refuse to believe. There's no way they do that for FIFA 19. There's no way they don't give us a proper pro clubs. Legit. Like, I know a lot of people's arguments here are going to be, oh, but Nick, all the money is in FIFA Ultimate Team. Of course they're going to spend money there. Again, I get it. Absolutely. But how can they spit in the face of all of their consumers that give them $60 to $100 a year? A year without fail. And they keep giving them the same reskinned garbage pro clubs and career mode experience year on year. And have the audacity to say, give me another 60 pounds this year, you fuck. Oh, you play this? Oh, the majority of people play this? Oh, we don't care. It's ridiculous. So I refuse to believe that yet for a fifth year, EA are essentially going to spit in the face of people that give them 60 to 100 pounds again in September. And they don't properly... 
fix up career mode and more specifically in my opinion the social aspect of pro clubs i i just i i can't believe that they would do that just like i refuse to believe that they're going to keep fut champs 40 games like i that just I, honest to god my brain's going to implode if that if we all load up fifa 19 come mid-september or the you know end of september and whatever and and pro club and fee and fut champ starts and it's just the same trash again i just goodness gracious man i i i just i i don't know i don't know i i would be in just disbelief I would be in disbelief. But, you know. I'm just a measly scumbag Canadian content creator that a lot of the higher-ups at EA seem to hate. So, they don't care about my opinions. That's for sure. Um, at least the higher-ups. I don't know the devs. I talk to a lot of the devs. I have nothing but respect to a lot of the devs. Um, you know, I have good relationships with most of the EA developers. But I think it goes beyond them. I think it's the higher ups at EA that don't give a fuck about what I say. Don't give a fuck about the Game Changers Network. I think that is literally just a marketing ploy. Honest to God. Um, and I really don't think the higher ups give a fuck really about the overall sentiment of the FIFA community. As long as FIFA Ultimate Team is churning out hundreds of millions of dollars. I, I just... As business, you know? So, maybe I'm just preaching to the, to the, to the wrong choir. I don't know. I don't know i have nothing but respect and admiration for most of the guys that i speak to on a reg relatively regular basis that work for ea i've named the names a million times over you guys don't need need to hear me say the names you guys know all the guys that i think are amazing all the guys that i think work hard and i almost feel bad for those guys at ea because i feel like they're an extension of me and you I feel like the Dunans of the world, the Teebses of the world, the Corys of the world, the Zaros of the world. I feel like they're all fans of the franchise and want the best for this game. But I feel like those guys either see what we say and then take what we say and push it up to the higher ups at EA. And they're like, go fuck yourself. We have all these big contracts with these big football teams. FIFA Ultimate Team generates us hundreds of millions. I don't give a fuck about what you or the community and you guys think you want. We're the executives. We know what to do. Just keep churning out the game. It's going to make sales. It's all good. So that's why I also feel so bad when I see community managers at EA getting abuse all the time. Because if you're abusing those guys, you have no idea what you're doing with your life, first of all. But second of all, they're on our side. So taking the piss out of those guys, you're, you're, you're just misguided. It's the guys that are well above them that we have to be worried about. And I don't think we're ever going to have contact with, you know? So... You know, what do we do from here? It's all fine and dandy for me to sit there and talk about, you know, doomsday scenarios. And I can't believe that EA won't do anything different for FIFA pro clubs. But what do we do? That's the question. I, I, I'm all for talking about things that are wrong. But it's time that we all also try and come up with, with, with fixes to the issues, right? Or ideas for fixes to the issues. One of the main ideas, Marius and Vid and Laggy, thank you guys. Uh, Bard Owner, thank you for the brand new sub and resub. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. One of my things that I wanna do um, is communicate to you guys that you don't need to spend money on this game. You don't, you don't. You can run a road to glory and have an incredibly successful FUT account. And you also don't need to spend eight hours a day on the road to glory like I do. You, you, you don't need to. There's plenty of guys that tweet me or in my chat that may spend an hour or two a day on FUT. And that doesn't mean sitting on their ass on their console. They could be on their mobile phone. They could be on their, their PC or whatever. A few minutes here and there, a little bit of trading. You can have an amazing, amazing gaming experience on this game without dumping money into FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to spend money on the game and you have disposable income or whatever, don't let me make you feel bad. I'm just trying to give you guys the devil's advocate, you know, the, the EA's devil, let's say, right? Because I'm sure EA absolutely don't want me saying that to you guys, right? I, there's no surprises there. Of course, they want every influencer um, uh, churning out FIFA points and convincing their, their audiences to spend money on the game. It's business. It makes sense. But just know that you don't need to spend money on the game. You really don't. Now, the second part of that is, and I've said this, I think even in this recording, I've talked about this a lot on stream. But the next thing that you should do is do not, don't put any content creator on a pedestal and on a platform and use them for comparison. Myself included. 
Anything I say to you guys, take it with a grain of salt. Analyze what I say. Use your own, de you know, decision making and thought processes on whether you agree or disagree with me. You know, don't just take what I say. Don't spend money on the game as 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 Bible. And oh, fuck everybody that does spend money on the game. Nick says not to, or I don't say you shouldn't. I said you don't have to. There's a big difference as well, right? Understand the vocabulary that I'm trying to uh, speak to you with, if you will. But take anything and everything any content creator says with a grain of salt and don't put the, all of us on a pedestal and specifically what i mean by that is if you see me because i will because this is my job and this is a business write-off to spend money on people points if you see me or you see castro or you see bateson or you see nepenthes or you see any of your favorite spencer owen or any of your favorite fifa content creators zway anybody dumping money into the game do not use that as an excuse of, oh, they all spend money on the game. It's fine. Let me dump money on the game. At the end of the day, for all of us, it's a business write-off. No matter how in disagreement I am of funding EA and FIFA, it's still at least a business write-off for me. And at the end of the day, if I didn't have to spend money on FIFA points, but was still able to open packs senselessly, unlimitedly, right? If I was able to just sit here back in the good old days like you could and just dump like just sit there and, and and open packs and not have to spend money on fifa points i would i would because i know a lot of you guys would enjoy that as content period i'm following you next fifa in a pmrtg only spending 20 dollars to start off then nothing after that hoping to do a certain player to glory style love your brother hey mikey good for you man a lot of people will hear what you just said and say, why are you spending $20? That's not a road to glory. Ah, fuck yourself. Don't listen to those morons either. I know my chat is now starting to type that as well. So now they all feel like idiots too. But a road to glory, again, don't let what I do define what you consider a road to glory. My poor man road to glory is me not spending a dime on the game. That's my road to glory. But road to glory no one has the definition of that no one decided or came up with oh that's you not spending a dime on the game road to glory glory is whatever you define it as right your road to glory you could spend 20 dollars at the start of the game maybe you want to drew do like five or 10 or 15 drafts you spend 20 dollars on fifa points use those fifa points on drafts for the first month of the year then start adopting my poor man road to glory style you could do incredibly well absolutely fantastically well there, there there's there's no denying that so again gold three to glory exactly you know road to glory is whatever you make of it but what i wanted to just get across to you guys is obviously you don't have to spend fifa points on this game but also don't put any of us as content creators on pedestals and use us as excuses for you to dump an incredibly unreasonable and incredibly for a lot of people not immature because that's not the right word but an incredibly um oh god what's the what's like when you're not being careful um uh, the word has slipped my mind don't dump an unreasonable probably is not the right word either but but unrealistic no that's not the right word um excess sure that's reckless thank you very much twitch chat compulsive as well careless as well Ex reckless and or excessive is is the, the term i'm trying to come across here don't dump an excessive or reckless amount of money into the game money that you know you shouldn't be spending and use it as an excuse of oh i love this game i play this game all the time look at all the other content creators they're doing it like i can't tell you how many times i've been tweeted by people and genuinely but have people written in my comment section saying dude like thank you for your road to glory last year in one month i spent a thousand dollars on fifa points or in one month i spent three hundred dollars of my student loan that i needed to get food or i needed to pay for books i spent it on fifa points and I i'm i'm so disgusted with myself don't go to that level trust me like i know so many people that have gone there i don't blame you this game can get very addictive in terms of gambling. EA will always ignore that and pretend it doesn't exist. But deep down, those guys at EA, they know that this game is very much based around gambling and addiction and hoping the next pack is going to have something good. Okay, let me add another 25 pounds. The next pack is going to... That's going to have the messy. Oh my god, look at Nick 2018. Pack team of the season, Deli Alley. Look at Castro. We packed, you know, Chicharito. Look, 
the next pack is gonna be the the next okay no i didn't get anything okay tomorrow we'll come back on i'll spend another 25 pounds and you can get in this horrendous cycle you know and and the human mind is absolutely adaptive to convincing yourself that what you're doing is right by again looking at your surroundings seeing every content creator spending money on the game so i just want to try and tell you please don't use that as an excuse okay for a lot of us we're very lucky to earn a living off of playing fifa ultimate team or playing video games in general and the other bonus side of it no one's going to talk about although i hope a few content creators talk about but this stuff is a business write-off like genuinely i do this and need to do this as a function of my business because my audience again a lot of the time would want to live vicariously through me and would rather watch me spend money on packs than them spend money on packs right and i've been saying that for years let me spend the money on fifa points on stream you guys all can you know we can have some fun watching packs be opened and that way at least you're not putting yourself at odds you're not potentially putting yourself out of a meal chasing a good pack pull you know and then at the same time let me show you guys how you can run a road to glory without spending money on the game you know so there's two sides of it we can sit as a community watch my dumbass spend money on people points while telling you guys not to do the same or only do it within your means right because again if you want to spend money on the game and you have the disposable income that's up to you you know I, i'm not here to make a working professional feel bad that they want to spend 100 bucks a week on packs you work your ass off every day you make your decisions you know it, better spent on fever points i guess than cocaine or some shit right there's that argument as well i just want people to be reasonable it's starting to get overwhelming the amount of messages i get from people saying they basically get got addicted to opening packs and dumping an insane money into this game a lot of people maybe the more immature part of my audience are probably turning their noses up and laughing at that oh yeah right Ha <laughs> dumb idiots, as if anyone would put themselves into financial hardship to spend money on a dumb game. Yes, I think if you took a proper poll of people, it would be almost horrifying how many people put themselves into tough predicaments based off of gaming and money spending addictions. I mean, again, as a content creator, there has been moments where even myself, even though it's a business write-off, even though I'm very lucky to do what I do as a job, there's even been moments for me where I'm like, I look at a bill and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? How have I spent $2,000 during team of the year? And this is my job. So I think we need to have those mature discussions much more often it's a very slippery slope i agree with you chat it's a very very slippery slope that again we use everything in the book to justify so i don't know i just want to have these, this this real talk with you guys right it's not about sticking the middle finger to the higher up executives at ea that earn tens of millions a year it, it, it's not trying to you know get back at ea in any way i just i want my community to be and and hopefully the overall fifa community to be responsible with what they do and you know it starts by me it starts by me being truthful but it starts by me talking to you guys about these things as well right again truthful again being honest about me spending money on the game i will spend money on the game i'm gonna have these discussions with you with you guys daily but i'm still gonna spend money on the game there's no doubt in my mind that i'm not gonna spend money on the game i'm going to because it's good content for you guys it's relatively lazy easy content for me as well spend a little bit of money on packs everybody's happy you know i i get a bit of a dopamine rush by opening gold packs for no fucking reason at all and so do you guys so i'm gonna try and be honest about that i'm not gonna hide it i'm not gonna act like this you know this this shining this knight in shining armor this road to glory pillar of perfection nick 28d doesn't spend money on the game and tells us all to not spend money and be responsible and then hide the fact that i dump stupid money into the game at times no i'm gonna be honest on both fronts because you guys deserve the honesty right like i mean that's the least i can do billy thank you for the 16 months bro i appreciate you man you know one of the things i get so much in terms of hate on reddit or i used to i i don't i haven't looked at reddit in years um and on twitter is people calling me a hypocrite saying oh yeah he does a road to glory and tells people to not spend money on packs like during that whole fix fifa movement like you know where people thought it would be good to just go abuse ea and content creators and that would fix fifa instead of actually doing proactive things to fix fifa anyways that's neither here nor there i got an endless amount of abuse from people because i was one of the people saying yeah you shouldn't spend money on packs especially if you disagree with ea's business practices about fifa ultimate team 
and you disagree with where the, the vision of the game is going and what's broken in the game, you absolutely should not spend money on FIFA points. I mean, you're a consumer. You can genuinely speak with your wallet. Again, I try and show you guys multitudes of ways of making coins without spending money on the game. It takes a little bit of time, but that's the world we live in. Time or money. One of the two to get what you want. That's just the way it is. Um, so, <laughs> hopefully... FIFA 19 will be nothing but fantastic surprises. Um, you know, hopefully FIFA 19 will be just an amazing release. They listen to what everybody that plays this game wants, both casuals and not, in terms of fixing the lag, fixing the button delay, putting more servers into the game, putting time and being more open about the game more communications about the game. You know, it's all well and good that we have all these community managers that are promising communication, but then we don't really see anything. It's all well and good that we've been getting all these promises from EA about the pitch notes, and then they're gonna talk in great detail about everything that's changing with the game, and then we get nothing. It's all well and good to get these things being promoted to us and said that they're listening, and it's now about getting the results, right? I think FIFA 19 is a very big make or break year in terms of how much money FIFA and EA make, not FIFA, sorry, EA and EA Sports FIFA, that team makes off of FIFA. I still think no matter what, it's an insane thought process to think if they get FIFA 19 wrong, their game's gonna die or no one's gonna play FIFA anymore. No, 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 no. No one can put aside the obsession that we all have for football. No one will put aside the obsession that I think we all have for FIFA Ultimate Team, that style of game. Nothing's gonna stop that. And the fact that EA have the monopoly control over the footballing gaming market, there's no doubt in my mind, no matter how bad FIFA 19 is, they're still gonna make record sales. But what I think will be big for FIFA 19 is if it is a bad game and if they keep FUT champs at 40 games and the gameplay is still horrible, and they, they don't change career mode in pro clubs. And FIFA Ultimate Team, you know, is, is a shambles in so many different ways with glitches and whatnot. What will happen is, yes, the user base will probably still be playing FIFA, but I, I'm hoping the user base then starts spending less and less money on the game beyond the point of purchase. Beyond the purchase of the new game every single year. And that alone should rock shareholders and those higher ups that seem to think that FIFA Ultimate Team is just a cash cow, that alone, the huge dip in FIFA point sales, which we've seen this year, there's no denying that we haven't noticed that lightning rounds don't sell out anymore. Whereas in FIFA 16 and 17, lightning rounds literally would sell out in a lightning second or two. So it's that shift away from spending money on FIFA points is already vastly on its way. I think FIFA 19 is make or break. I think they, they could really start seeing a savage drop in profits if, if they completely ignore, um, you know, what, what the community is hoping for. So we'll see, right? I, again, it's all doomsday, but I am in great hope that they do do all of the positive things that we want to see from FIFA 19. You know, give us more servers, give us more communication, revamp pro clubs give us what we all want from fifa and from gaming which is social gaming with your friends but then also has the same fun aspects like ultimate team you know do those things and things are going to be good and what i will say is the, the res not the result but the fix of the major fix of these issues the major um solution to this if ea doesn't do what a lot of people want is what I think's already happening, right? <laughs> We're talking about coming up with solutions instead of just talking about what's wrong. But a solution is you can run a road to glory. A solution is maybe you start dabbling with, with career mode, even if it is the same type of thing. If you need to get your footballing fix, maybe dabbling with some career mode instead of loading up 40 pounds in FIFA points and just frustratingly opening packs because you think that's what you want. Maybe that's the solution. Maybe trying to find enjoyable things from pro clubs, even if you find pro clubs kind of trash, maybe that's the solution. Is this a marquee matchup? Nice. A good little pack uh, reward there. So there's a lot of solutions, right? Um, Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out. Fallout 76 is coming out. A Road to Glory is a huge solution to all of your problems. Because guess what? 
if this road to glory isn't a perfect example of what your solution for your frustration with FIFA Ultimate Team and how EA is running it, this PlayStation Road to Glory should give it to you. It's August, and I'm still spending so much time on this Road to Glory. Yes, I spend a lot of the time bitching and moaning about what I disagree with what EA is doing with their FIFA Ultimate Team franchise, but I'm still on it. Why is that? Because I still love Ultimate Team. If I don't agree with what they're doing, you do this, you start up a new Road to Glory, you get back to the basics of grinding the game and having a little bit of fun grinding bronze packs, that's an amazing solution, in my opinion. You know, that, 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 that's my thoughts. So I, I don't know if you guys agree or disagree. You know, I've gone on a long rant. I mean, literally I could title this video itself an open letter to EA Sports FIFA uh, for FIFA 19. You know, it could genuinely just be the title of, of, this, of this video specifically. Um, I think these are going up, right? Because of the daily knockout tournament? Maybe not. Might still only sell for 200 to 250. Um, G mod arms. Thank you for the three months, bro. Agree. I'm only spending money, uh, at the art at the start and then following your RTG tips and stuff. There you go. There you go guys. Okay. Again, EA does not want me to say this part of it. They'll be happy to hear me say what I'm about to say, where if you are going to spend money on FIFA points, the best time to do it is the start of the year and for the first month of FIFA. Everything is super expensive. Almost any pack you open will give you a big chunk of coins. Whereas, you know, throughout the rest of the year, you'll be opening packs and nothing, you know, nothing really sells. Perfect examples are like at the start of the year, Romelu Lukaku is 300,000 coins or 200,000 coins. Now he's 10K or 20K. Anthony Martial is literally like 30, 40, 50, 60,000 coins at the start of the game. He's now 3,000 or 2,000 or 4,000 coins. So... If you are going to spend money on the game, absolutely, the most intelligent thing is definitely to spend it at the start. But again, I would highly recommend you give it a week or two. Please, let again, let me and the other content creators dump money into the game. We are a drop in the bucket, okay? So there's the other... Ooh! That's coins. We are a drop in the bucket, but yet we can help stifle your need to open packs. So that's a two-sided comment, if you will. We all need to speak with our wallets, right? So when I say, give it a couple of weeks, don't spend, buy the game. If you love FIFA 19, buy the game. But give it one or two or three weeks of you grinding a Road to Glory style game and see if you are happy with what EA have delivered. Let's see if Pro Clubs has been revamped before we're dumping $200 into each or $2,000 each into FIFA Ultimate Team. Let's see if they revamp career mode. Let's see if they revamp Ultimate Team properly. Let's see if they revamp FUD Champs. Let's see if they revamp the entire chemistry system. Let's see if they revamp, um, you know, chemistry styles and position changes. Let's see if they actually give us proper servers. Let's see if the gameplay actually has a skill gap and isn't just ping pong bullshit passing and bounces and idiotic goals. And then if you're happy with what you see in two or three weeks after they give us the week one patch, which usually reverts the game to FIFA 17 2.0 or 3.0 at this point, then if you're happy, reward EA and yourself with, okay, now I'll spend hundred pounds on FIFA points because I'm happy with the game. So that's my initial thought. And if you do want to see packs or whatever, then just live vicariously through me or other content creators. Let us spend money on the game at the start for packs. You can see the pack animations, the sale price of players and whatnot. And the flip side of that argument is to people saying, yeah, but shouldn't you be part of it? Shouldn't you not spend money on the game as well? No, because at the end of the day, I, I, I am a content creator. And creating content and opening packs goes essentially hand in hand. But the other part of it where you're saying, oh, it won't matter if you spend money on packs but you want no one else to, no, it will. It absolutely will. Because even though myself and every other content creator may spend an insane amount of money on packs, in the overall community, as much as all of us content creators want to give ourselves pats on the back with how amazing we are and how much influence we have, at the end of the day, the money we spend is a drop in the bucket of FIFA point purchases from the entire community, content creators and viewers alike. So. Even if we are spending money, that's still a drop in the bucket. If all of us as content creators are then saying to our large user base, 
which make up the massive amount of people that spend money on people points even if we are sitting there quote unquote being hypocrites spending money on the game if we are all saying to our user bases guys don't spend money on this game if you're not happy with it don't i'm doing this because it's a business decision and it's a business for me you guys let's all see if you enjoy the game first before you want to spend money on the game if we do that as a community we could actually see change maybe i don't know just a thought just a thought but it's all about open communication right i, I think if a content creator dares say guys as they're as they have four hundred thousand fifa points loaded on their account guys don't spend money on the game speak with your wallet and he just uh, ripping through four thousand dollars worth of people points if there isn't a dialogue beforehand of course the user base and reddit and the forums are gonna lose their fucking mind look at this fucking asshole nick 28d is telling everybody he's acting like this hero of the world don't spend money on the game and he's got six hundred and twenty nine thousand people points to open like you should be able to have a dialogue with your user base so that at least they see where you're coming from right um, and I genuinely think that could create a change. In FIFA 17, I spent 20,000 GPD in this FIFA 18. I stopped playing in November slash December this FIFA 19. I will buy 12k FIFA points and that's it. In FIFA 17, Zemriot, and I know he's not lying. Thank you for the $20. He spent 20,000 pounds. 20,000 pounds. Now, I am going to challenge you to this, Zemriot. You stop playing FIFA 18 in November, December. I remember your money spending habits even in FIFA 18. I challenge you to this, my brother, who makes an exorbitant amount of money and is living great and has done well for himself and I'm very happy for you and proud of you. Spend nothing on FIFA 19 because you are still folding with saying, I'm just going to spend 12,000 FIFA points and that's it. Again, that's a fucking slippery slope. Spend nothing. Buy the game. You are giving them 60 to 100 pounds for FIFA 19. Buy the game. Buy the game, even as a well-earning, well-put-together person. Buy the game, play it for a month, and in a month, if after grinding and copying the Road to Glory and whatnot, you're still enjoying the game and you're happy with what EA have done, then spend even just that 12,000 FIFA points. Because again, you will not only be speaking with your wallet and your, and your expectations, but you will probably be pretty damn proud of yourself, especially... I hope this doesn't end up being the case, but especially if FIFA 19 is a flaw in terms of what people want, what want people want from FIFA 19 Ultimate Team, you will still be pissed off with yourself for FIFA 19 if you buy the game for 100 pounds and then spend 100 pounds on FIFA points and it's a shit game. Whereas if you buy the game and then you find out it's not what you want or what not what you like, guess what? You're probably going to be pretty proud of yourself that you're like, well, you know what? I'm still a loyal EA customer. I gave them a chance. I bought their game. Still kind of crap. At least I didn't spend money on it outside of that. Just a thought, you know? Just a thought. Jesus, I spent $1,500 on FIFA 18, and I think that's a lot. No, that is a lot. That is an insane amount of money. Again, if you are an adult and you make a good amount of money, $1,500 in a year for disposable income is not a lot for a lot of business professionals. People can spend that in a couple of months going to bars, going to dinners, going here, going there. So really, uh, to a kid, you know, that maybe has no allowance or does a paper route and barely makes 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars or whatever. And good for you if you are doing that. You're a fucking model example of how a kid should be. But to a kid, they could see that and be like, Jesus Christ, no one spends $1,500. No one spends $1,500 on this game. No, yes, yes, they do. Yes, they do, and yes, they will. <clears throat> you know? So, I don't know. I, I, apologies for this entire episode being just this long diatribe uh, about FIFA 19, but I think we need to talk about it, right? Especially with, like, FIFA 19 coming, um, the news for FIFA 19 coming out. You know, there's a lot of spoilers all over Twitter and stuff like that. I think an open letter, maybe that, again, this is going to be uploaded to YouTube, and I'll, I will title it, title it, uh... Uh, an open letter to at EA Sports FIFA about FIFA 19. You know, that's probably what I'll title this episode. And I would love Twitch. I know you guys are giving your ideas and your thoughts and stuff like that in the Twitch live chat, which then will be locked in a past broadcast. But even my Twitch user, users, viewers and users, even my Twitch viewers, if you guys could take your thoughts and your sentiments 
and put it into this YouTube comment section, I would love you. I would love to even post video, have, you know, discussions with you guys about, you know, if you're willing to be critiqued because you're always going to have immature dickweeds laughing at you or making fun of you for how much you spend. But let us know in the comment section, how much have you spent on this game? Do you agree with it? Do you agree with my sentiment? Here's a question. Do you agree with what I'm trying to tell you guys to speak with your wallets, to not spend money on the game, unless you agree with what they're doing and you're happy with the game while I'm probably still going to be spending money on the game? Let me know what you think about that. Do you, do you agree or disagree? I'd, I'd, I'd love to have those thoughts. So I'll probably end the full discussion of all of the FIFA stuff right there um, and carry on with the episode. Again, we've got squad battle rewards to claim. Um, so we've got, I think, three packs to open. We played eight or ten games of squad battles and uh, finished. I think we locked up gold two, maybe even gold one. Yes, we locked up gold one. So I, we got three packs to open. Premium gold pack, two jumbo premium packs, and of course, 12,000 coins. Fantastic, man. Um, absolutely fantastic. Super, super happy about that. Back up to 43,000 coins as well, which is just absolutely unbelievable. So I'm going to take this squad into, again, as I mentioned, I want to qualify potentially for weekend league this week if i decide to play weekend league or decide to keep this road to glory going um so we'll probably play a few daily knockout tournament games on episode today why is it saying i have three packs what happened there oh there we go okay but having said that why don't because you guys have been so patient with this whole discussion and me just opening silver packs and whatever why don't we open a jumbo pack and just see if i can get something better than a um thin board Okay, well, it's not a thin board. It is an actual side boob pack, but it feels bad. Good, go good God, man. The amount of you guys that have tweeted me with your squad battle rewards and insane packs is nuts. Absolutely insane. I'm trying to show you guys some of these packs, but I'm being spammed all over Twitter right now. Goodness gracious. All right, too bad. I can't show you guys the uh, the good pulls. All right, so let's do this. Ooh, we might actually be able to get a couple of gold upgrade packs today too. Or all of that. I think this sells this sells over the weekend leak i don't know if this is going to be worth anything right now so maybe i'll store all of that and then come saturday or sunday if we're still on the playstation rtg i'll list up all of this crap oh that's the problem though i work 10 hours a day sometimes on weekends i don't have eight hours a day to grind fifa so i spend money to compensate for a better team uh, again, I, I, and exa that's exactly why I, I was saying that, like, I'm not telling nobody to spend money on the game. I understand that there's a lot of people out there that, um, you know, have businesses or make enough money or work a lot. So instead of spending a lot of time on a road to glory, they don't have a lot of time. So they'd rather spend an hour playing the game with good players. So to get the good players, instead of spending time they don't have, they spend money. I, I understand that logic. And that argument again i'm not disagreeing but i'm pretty sure you probably could agree that you don't need to spend one thousand five hundred dollars no matter how well you're doing on a game that you disagree with to have a good team you probably don't have to am i right am i wrong i i, I don't know that that's just that's just my thoughts on it y you can even be efficient with your money like you could spend 12,000 FIFA points, which is $100, and use that only for a month on the draft. Even if you're the worst possible player ever, first of all, you're getting to use all of the good cards in the game, so you're getting used to FIFA. You're getting to figure out what cards are good for you to use. I won't no, spend see that I didn't. Nick. I did. Here's dude. my 12k Jeez. FIFA points to my favorite streamer. Only way to not get attempted is to not buy any. See again, <laughs> that's not <laughs> that's not the point of me telling you not to spend money on the game, dude. <laughs> me telling you not to spend money on the game until you like the game has nothing to do with me trying to get you to give me the money. I mean, 
I'm now 100 bucks richer thanks to you, and genuinely those $100 will go into FIFA points, so the stream can thank you for that $100 because they'll get to watch a 12,000 FIFA point pack opening thanks to you. But that's not the whole point. <laughs> that's not the point. Either way, you're insane, dude. Thank you for the $120 total donated today, and uh, let's see how your road to glory goes, right? Let's see how your road to glory goes, more importantly, you know? I think, I mean, don't spend dumb money on the game. More importantly, to, like, go treat yourself, you know? You know, go out on a night out or go watch a movie or go buy another game. Keep playing FIFA, but you spend that money on buying another game. Or, you know, there's any multitudes of ways you can spend that $100 instead of dumping it into uh, FIFA points for a game that none of us know is going to be good or bad, right? But, hey, if your choice is to give that money to me, I, 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 I thank you. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. I know lots of people that have similar busy schedules, but also do Road to Glories and have great teams. Yeah, exactly. Uh, again, I, I do very much disagree with people saying, oh, I work a lot. I can't run a Road to Glory like you do. So I'd rather spend half of my income or 25% of my income on packs. You know, I, I, I still think that you could maybe, again, even if you're a working professional, if you only have an hour or two to spend a day on the game instead of younger kids or content creators that can spend four to eight hours a day on a road to glory, you could still be very efficient with that hour or two. Again, find a few minutes here and there throughout the day, whether you're on your phone or whatever, to just list up cards that you're trading, do a little bit of bronze pack method genuinely on your phone. You're probably on Instagram a fuck ton anyways. So again, there's so many ways where you can be efficient with your money. And I know it's cringy for me to say, oh, as a business professional, instead of spending time looking at your ex-girlfriend on Instagram and who she's fucking or whatever, you could spend a little bit of time doing the bronze pack method. But honestly, that might work. You know, instead of just swiping left and right on Tinder endlessly and then going home and spending 100 pounds on FIFA points so that you can play for an hour with Ronaldo and still get dicked by all the nerds like me that spend a lot of time on the game. Baby! You spend the time instead of swiping left or right while you're shitting, opening a few bronze packs, so that when you go home, you don't spend a hundred pounds on fucking FIFA points. So you can just play with the fucking profits that you have from doing all that stuff while you're shitting. And then it, that's like just a fucking snowball of positivity. Then you've got a hundred bucks to maybe spend on someone else instead of FIFA points. Oh my God, dude, we're going down the cringiest road right now. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love you guys, man. You do you, man. You live your life however the hell you want. I have no right to tell you whether or not to spend money on the game. I'm just giving you solutions and ideas. You know, that's it. That's it. Even when I was doing a, uh, uh, when I wasn't a content creator back in FIFA 09 and 10 and 11 and 12 and 13, I was one of those guys that was spending, you know, a hundred bucks here and there on FIFA points. I didn't have to, but I was also a lazy bitch. <laughs> that didn't want to spend time trading either so i've been there you know again i'm a bit of a hypocrite when it comes to that but you know i'm just giving you guys thoughts and uh thoughts and ideas uh ken thank you for the prime sub appreciate you zemria thank you again bro appreciate the 120 dollars sir king thank you for the five months appreciate you i'm buzzing for fifa 19 just want to be here um uh are you gonna do a charity stream for fifa 19 yes is this guy okay so this guy's stream sniping for sure is, is he even going to ready up? God knows. Let's just find someone else. Um, Tim Howard, thank you for the nine months. Uh, you think Fortnite got so much competitive? It's the same fault that EA did with FIFA or not? Yeah, for sure. The fun of Fortnite is slowly slipping away, just like it, it has with FIFA, with them pushing competitive too much. The whole fun with Fortnite was pub stomping and or getting stomped in squads with all your friends, you know? Um, and there being a big variety in abilities on the map. But now 99% of people are just sweat lords that all know to use SMGs or drum guns to melt you, and all they have to do is hold shoot. I mean, yeah, the, the incredible competitiveness of Fortnite has, has slowly killed off the game or killed down the game, just like I think EA has gone an incredibly poor route with FIFA Ultimate Team in forcing competitive on everyone. What is this, dude? What is, what is happening right now? I thought server issues and crap like this wasn't a thing on PlayStation. Y'all sold me a lie. Yeah, like, I think if EA stuck to the relative enjoyment and fun aspects of daily knockout tournaments and all of that good stuff happening um, in FIFA outside of competitive, 
that we would have such an amazing what is what is what do i do here are we done <laughs> again are you guys gonna get another episode where i just whinge and moan hopefully you guys don't just hear that out of me man i really hope you guys are seeing what i'm saying you know i know that a lot of thank god i think I'll, i know a lot of the comment section is just gonna be stop moaning and just completely missing everything I'm saying. And it makes me sad seeing people spam stupid shit like that. You know? I think it's Crash. Imagine EA just banned this account. Oh, God. He's pushing all of this self-righteous BS again to all of our users. And banned! I would be so, so distraught if they did that, man. Imagine for doing nothing. Just talking to my user base. Oh, nice team. Oh, he's a Fun Champs player. Oh, great. Hello, everyone. Martin Tyler here in the commentary booth. Alan Smith alongside me as usual. Welcome oh, whoops. Yeah, Alright, let's see how we do here. Talking big game about my team being an awesome setup, so let's see how a relatively capable FIFA player uh, stacks up against me and this squad. Ooh, late foul. Anyways, I bottled the uh, the kickoff. All right, so like I said, watch this. See the formation here? So I go here, bombastic, I'm Mr. Fantastic. Then I go back here and look at that. Everybody's in position. Pedro, Ali, like even left center mid and right center mid. Everyone's perfect. So, right. Is the intro over now? <laughs> Dude, wow. Come on now. Dude. Oh my good lord. I, I have not scored a free kick in about three months. All right. Uh, it's looking like it's going to be about four months. Oh, he's got the donkey! I didn't even notice he had the donkey in his team, dudes. That's hilarious. Oh my god, the donkey's gonna fist me, isn't he? He has the OG donkey as well. Do I not use instructions anymore? I do, but I'm lazy, so I don't. Does that make sense? Now that you can apparently just put instructions and, and movement and stuff before you go into the game with every new formation you use for FIFA 19, I, I don't want to keep being used to changing and adjusting formations every game. Ever a bit clunky on the ball there. Of course! Why wouldn't he perfectly save that? 50% intro, 50% outro. Come on, man. There's gotta be someone that's enjoyed the conversations we've had today about FIFA 19 and the future of FIFA. Oh, that's a bad pass. That's dangerous. Sacco. Uh, I don't know what's happening right now. This guy's defending, like, really high pressure. It's tripping me out. Very skilled. These passes may look easy. Deli! It's a first-time shot! Why did he take a touch? I press shoot. That was a great little quick pass from I think it was Young Min Son. I just wanted Delhi to step into that and he took a touch. Ah! Oh. Silly Billy. Oh god. Happening. No. I'm the stupid. Oh, fake shot doesn't work. Oh god, window. Holy shit! Why did I do that, man? Why do I try and do like fake shop stops? Stops. Right outside my 18-yard line. Oh, oh, of course he gets the ball back. And a corner. Ha <laughs> ha! Zemrian with the 45-month resub. There is the man himself. Almost four years subscribed to the channel. What a psychomaniac. I love him. Thank you, sir. What am I doing with my life here, guys? Oh, my days. Yeah, this guy's a very aggressive player. Okay, that's not right in the past two, but what else? Ah, ha, ha. Son. Oh, Son. Donkey. Dude, how are you going to get away with all this? Uh, a lot of pressure on him, man. Mishi oh, I, yeah, I didn't even realize he had Mishi Batshuayi. That's a great card. 
Michi Batshuayi. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their foot. Look at that deflection! Bro, this game is silly, man. And again, right back to him. And again, another corner. No, we're okay. Here we go. Come on, boys. Oh! <laughs> what? I'm having a good time, are you? He is quick, this lad, and he can afford to give himself another yard. I think he's got the beating of these defenders in a race. Deli Alley. This guy is so aggressive, man. It's tripping me out. Likes to come into this area. They want him further up front, though, as the game develops, I'm sure. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a quite a dangerous position there. Oh, Sonny! Wait, Sonny? Well, what Sonny does he have? That's not, like, Sonny, Sonny. That's the defender Sonny, right? That cannot be the Man City player. I think I think that's the defensive. Yeah, no, wait, he's got a Bundesliga team. Okay. Oh, my God, dude. I just thought I got tackled. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at these bounces, man. Dude, I thought for a second Leroy Sané broke, broke in defensively. I'm recording! I'm recording! I just conceded! Well, I feel like a fat piece of shit scumbag. She literally delivered Bud Light, bro. Lime. For Wasted Wednesday. She literally was knocking on the door to deliver me my Bud Light Lime, bro. What a dick bag I am, man. Good God, Nick 28T, sort your life out. Bud Light Lime? Lull? Yeah, you, what do you mean? Have you seen how beautiful my, uh, my, uh, my body is? How do you think this specimen is kept perfect by drinking Bud Light Lime, bro? God, I wish I was paid to say that. How awesome. How awesome of an advertisement. Okay, what is happening right now? How did I just concede this shitbag? He literally just pulls every player out of position. Look at that, bro! Oh my god. Okay, if I lose to this guy, I'm the worst FIFA player ever. This guy is the most over-aggressive, moronic defender that literally just flies into every tackle without thinking. And yet, gets every tackle to work. This game is... Honestly... 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 Yeah, no, I didn't want to pass that to Deli Alley or anything. That's okay. Fine. I'm fine. I'm not mad. I'm fine. I'm fine that Rui Costa's marking team of the season Deli Alley out of the game at right center mid. I'm fine! That makes a lot of sense! That's totally normal! <laughs> Look at this, honestly, man. Oh my god. This is so hilarious. What a heavy touch by Florenzi, man! He's literally playing like a bronze! He doesn't want to cut, he doesn't want to do anything! It's driving me insane! Oh. Honestly, man. Suck at your mom! 45th minute cheese! It doesn't exist, guys! 10 minutes into the game's release. EA still claims there's no 45th minute scripting, but we're still scoring them! 
No, uh, no, it's all in your head, guys. We've done analysis, and that script that we actually talked about and and wrote blogs about back in FIFA 11 and 12, where we had where we had high impact moments coded in the game, and our developers actually talked about it being in there in the 45th and the 90th minute. It's not there anymore. We swear. It's just all in your head, even though the same stupid stuff happens back in FIFA 11 when it was coded to happen, and it still happens nowadays, but it's, but it's not fair! Anyone else having a great time, or? Anyone else really enjoying themselves in middle of August playing FIFA? to go for the second half of this first round match in the FUT Champions Knockout Tournament. Now Rui Costa. Remember when they told us kickoff boost didn't exist and then they publicly claimed to have fixed kickoff boost? Honestly, I should be a poet! I should be a Shakespearean poet! As I say that, he just runs down the field and scores! This is... Honestly, this if this doesn't make our stream highlights video in episode 6, I don't know what can even. I don't even know what can even, bro! I don't even know even what can even. God bless, dude! <laughs> Imagine FIFA 19 gameplay being like this, bro. Holy God, man. Oh my God, oh my God. Imagine another 12 months of this. Imagine. Pedro. So. Imagine another 12 months of this psychotic trash. Werner. 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 This guy is genuinely, and I know comment section is going to get really salty with me for saying this, but this guy is genuinely an awful FIFA player. He just runs at you and just shoots from anywhere and gets goals. And has a lot of shots. So the stats look so idiotically bloated. But they're like, this guy has not played a game of football, like IRL, in his life ever. Based off of his defensive play, based off of his attacking movements. This guy, and again, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but this guy's just purely a gamer. You know, just, and fair play to him. Because he probably puts a shit ton of time into FIFA. So he knows everything that works and doesn't work. And works and doesn't work, you know. So I'm, I'm not hating on him for... Uh, for his style of play, but it's just frustrating watching the way he plays and just being down two to one to like this type of a player. And is that pig-headed of me? Are you, are you seeing what I'm saying? This is insanity. This is insanity defined. This is insanity defined. And I don't know this guy. I have no idea who he is. So, uh, hopefully he doesn't watch the stream and isn't hearing me say he's a, you know, terrible player. Because, fair play to him, he's winning. Um, but I know this is one of the biggest frustrations with why people give up the game. Is because, as someone that understands football, or, you know, may maybe likes to think you understand football, or how the game should play defensively and offensively, it's... Holy God, it's nothing but frustrating to watch a, a FIFA opponent sprint at you, bounce through every single tackle you make, fire infinite shots at you for no apparent reason, get goals for a few of those infinite shots, and then also defensively just run at you and have the game just never have their players make any mistakes. I mean, I know for a fact that's why people give up playing this game. Because you just sit there and watch a guy nonsensically sprinting at you like this guy's doing, but it just works. There you go again. Yeah, you see what I mean? I should beat this guy. I shouldn't be talking shit about this guy. And I hope that people can realize I'm more talking about the broken gameplay mechanics versus me talking shit about my opponent. But I just personally feel that it's insane that this game can keep someone like him in the game. And genuinely, I probably deserve to lose. You know? Because I am not a good enough FIFA player to put all of the stupid FIFA gameplay mechanics aside and still win. 
all the pros do it right that's one thing we always talk about in my um in my videos is yes it feels good to bitch and moan about this game but everybody is dealing with this stupid that's a great pass but no worries to is getting um you know everybody's dealing with this right not fair for me to sit there and, well actually no it's perfectly fair because it feels good to complain i love complaining it's my favorite pastime just important to recognize that everybody is dealing with these stupid mechanics right oh that's offside i think man i'm an idiot is that offside Oh my god, he passes it across goal right in front of my player and still makes the pass. Oh, he's bringing on Lozano. I'm sure it's his buddy's card. He's going to sprint it out of bounds, my dude. Okay. Yeah, let's just send in an AIDS cross. Why not? Ay, ay, ay. This is actually happening. Oh, he does have Sané. There he is. Oh my God. It's like this guy heard me talk about uh, Sané, the attacker. Young man. Dude, I probably should have taken another touch there, but what a save by Begovic. Dude, this is actually pretty hilarious. Feels like every pass is working for him. And every pass I make is just, just fisting me in the butthole. Come on, Nick. You can do this. You can do this. You can fight through this. Even if you sit there and complain the whole time, you can power through this, right? Here we go. Oh, he's offside and he still gets intercepted. Jesus! I can't select David Luiz for some fisted reason, but that's okay. Fine, man. That is his through ball! I literally squared it with a triangle pass. That's his through ball? Did he try did he try and shoot that? Oh my god, I don't deserve to win this game. This is madness. Decided to take a short corner this time. It's a wonderful interception there in the nick of time, very late in the game, with the score still level. It's a quick break. Oh, I just this guy's gonna sweat it. And of course. Petrus goalkeeper, this one, and it's cost him here. Well, he did go a one, but the scorer was Johnny on the spot to make him pay. Good finish. We had seemed to be stuck in a, a bit of a stalemate, in truth, but this very, very late goal has changed that. Well, they threw men forward, and they've got the reward. Goal. Well, the atmosphere is improving now. Now the home team need to improve. They're still in with a shout. Yeah, time is running out. It's now or never. I think they've got to lift the game. Absolute fucking pandemonium, man. That's going to waste time for a round of 16 daily knockout tournament game. Is Sané is marking all of my players like he's Rude Hullet, dude. That's Sané! That's genuinely, literally Sané acting like Rude Hullet for the final five minutes of the fucking game. Holy shit! And that cup which was within their reach is now totally out of their reach. Yeah, they're clearly disappointed and looking back, I think they'll be upset by the So
Bludgeon, thank you for the 27 months. Robotilo, thank you for the three. FIFA at its best. Uh, is relaxed. Thank you for the brand new sub. I deserve to lose that game. Do I hate this game? Do I do I hate how I lost? Do I hate how it unbelievably I conceded to my opponent? Yeah, I hate all of it. But honestly, this game is a fucking shambles, dude. 45th minute goal as well. Kickoff boost goal as well. Just bouncing the ball around and just running through my team like... And this this is from a counter attack from a corner that I literally could have sweated it to my player for a tap in and my player passes it into the keeper. And then what does he do? Sprint down the field. Look at Manolas though, completely ignoring the player. Anyways, I deserve to lose, man. I didn't put my chances away. Let this guy have 12 shots, like just from anywhere and everywhere as well. Insanity, man. It's my own damn fault for losing. Keys, thank you for the 14 months, man. Appreciate you. Well, just play. Hey, we got a task completed, dudes. You know, there's a positive there. Um, at least we talked about FIFA 19, right? Then proceeded to get dicked in FIFA 18. Seems to be the positive course of the way FIFA 18's gone. All right, I'm going to probably end it there, dudes, in terms of the recording. There's just nothing else to say, man. Um, hopefully, this isn't the death of the RTG. Uh, if there is a recording, I another recording from here, it probably is going to be... I'm just going to list all this shit up. It's probably going to be uh, because EA give us something past August 15th. Um, if you don't see a recording from this RTG for a while, I honestly it's probably because he have let this game die so I, I don't know we'll we'll see I'm still enjoying this game even after losing that stupid shit I'm still enjoying grinding building up a team overall uh, I I like my team a lot you know the goals I conceded there I don't feel like there's much I could do especially considering the amount of saves and the type of saves his keeper was making and stuff like that and the just idiotic opportunities that I was bottling so it's not my team's fault that uh, I just took an L in that game so Thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate you guys' support. We'll get this jumbo pack and then the player pack open from the squad battle reward. See if we can get something good. Oh my god. And we get a blue. Let's go. Of course. EA shits all over your face. And then tries to rope you back in with... <laughs> 89 rated Gregorich. Oh, good lord. Something about an Austrian doing the salsa makes me cringe a little bit. But, anyways... Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, hey, still 20,000 coins if I discard him. Yeah, he's got to be discarded. I think I discard him. Like, what do I need an 89 rated player for? Right? Next epi, we could grind some gold upgrade packs. I mean, I could do... I could do next epi and have that uploaded for Wednesday. We could do one more pack spam tomorrow, maybe. Before all the players are out of packs. Uh, yeah, all this stuff I'm going to store for team of the, uh, sorry, team of the week for foot champs. I'm just going to discard him, man. You know, I'm just going to discard him. 67,000 coins. Gold player pack right here. Thank you again for watching and supporting the series, my channel on Twitch and on YouTube. And we end, <laughs> we end with a thin pack. Yeah, we'll do one more episode minimum. Again, I might be playing this until mid-September on the Road to Glory. I, I don't know. I just want to be uh, transparent and open with you guys on YouTube specifically about what the plans are for my channel, for my FIFA content, and all of that good stuff. So, God bless you guys, and uh, as always, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!